I love the sea, and it is strange to say, because I grew up in a small country town, among the hills and far away from it. Somehow, however, I'm incredibly attracted to it, and inextricably linked to it. That is why I love to travel all over the world with my camera, to meet it and to capture its essence in my pictures. Sometimes, however, I simply like to sit along these shores or wander through the small coastal villages, maybe in the early hours of the morning, when no one is awake yet, to be able to savor all those details, colors and smell that would certainly be lost in the confusion of the day. And in this moment I love being alone and without the burden of my equipment. Actually, I'm not really alone, because with me now is always my Vivo X80 Pro smartphone, with which I can capture and share all these experiences and emotions. Today I am going to take you out on the field with me to show you how with a few simple tricks you can take great pictures with your smartphone too. The Vivo X80 Pro is a truly exceptional smartphone. Once inside the camera we can select the lens to be used by pressing on the corresponding magnification factor at the bottom of the image. We can thus switch between the wide-angle lens with a 14mm focal length, the 23mm main camera lens and the 50 and 125mm telelenses for capturing even very distant objects with an incredible optical quality. By clicking on the hexagonal icon in the top right hand corner, we can then access more settings, including the possibility of activating tools such as framing lines, level meter and stabilization, as well as modifying the image ratio from 4 thirds to different ratios. By selecting the icon at the bottom right of the focal length selector, we can choose to apply some preset creative filters, being able also to adjust their intensity and having immediate feedback on the effect on the framed scene. In short, the Vivo X80 Pro has so many user-friendly features. So now all we have to do is to find an interesting spot to start shooting our images. When sea conditions permit, I like to exploit the contrast between the texture of the rocks and the smoothness of the sea. For this reason, this group of low rocks near the shoreline seems ideal to me, and taking great care not to slip, I reach them. To help me with the composition, I first activate the framing lines from the camera settings. In this way, I can visually take advantage of the rule of third lines, which will help me to achieve a balanced result. Next, I activate the level meter, which will allow me to keep the camera level and avoid the much unpleasant crooked horizon. At this point, thanks to the immediate visual feedback, I try out the different lenses available in the camera by pressing on the respective magnification factor. In this case, I think that the wide-angle lens is the best choice as it will allow us to capture a large portion of the scene. Pro tip, by using the wide-angle lens, close objects will appear larger, while distant objects will appear smaller. So, try to get very close to the rocks and take advantage of the guiding lines they offer to create a really dynamic composition. There are some specific functions in the Vivo X80 Pro that can really make a difference when we are out shooting. The first of these is the DICE Natural Color feature that, through sophisticated color adjustment methods, allow us to obtain an image with absolutely accurate and natural colors. Zeiss natural colors can be activated by pressing on the corresponding icon at the top of the screen. So far is one of my favorite functions that I really keep active in every shoot I take. When lighting conditions are prohibitive, so for example when you shoot through a window and the environment inside is way darker than outside, it is time to activate the high dynamic range function from the top bar. Thanks to it, even in high contrast condition, the final image will be completely readable without underexposed area or burn out skies. Finally, when we want to give room for creativity, for example in this case to take advantage of some beautiful flowers, we can activate the macro function. Thanks to it, we can overcome the limitation that when focusing on a very close object, the background will be blurred out. Once activated, in fact, by focusing on the flower, I can extend the depth of field. Sometimes we are in front of such unique views that we quickly realize that a simple photo cannot be enough to capture the vastness of the scene. For a situation like this, we can use the Vivo X80 Pro fantastic pano feature. To activate it is super simple, we just scroll through the shooting modes on the right to the more section and then we select pano. 
Here we can select between two modes, standard and super pano. I suggest you always to use super pano mode since this way you will automatically take advantage of the HDR mode we saw earlier to perfectly capture the scene even in the most challenging lighting situation. Once the mode has been selected, all we have to do is to position the camera where we want our composition to start and then we press the shutter release. Then we proceed from left to right aligning the circle with the dot until we have captured the entire desired scene. At this point simply press the shutter release again to finish the exposure and our panoramic image will be automatically created. The result is truly stunning and is immediately visible in the gallery of our smartphone. The Vivo X80 Pro is an exceptional device that allows us to capture fantastic images without any special knowledge thanks to the incredible technology embedded. However, sometimes by choice or necessity, it happens that I want the full control of the camera during the shooting stages. When this happens, all I have to do is selecting the Pro mode from the available shooting modes. From here, I have the full control of all the shooting parameters as if I were using my DSLR camera. In addition to selecting the focal length as I could already do in the normal shooting mode, here I have access to all the other parameters, such as the exposure metering, for a more accurate evaluation of the brightness in the scene, the focus, to switch between autofocus and manual focus based on the distance of the subject, the white balance, which I still suggest leaving set in auto in most of the cases, the shutter speed, which also give us immediate feedback on the exposure, the ISO value and thus the sensor sensitivity, and exposure compensation to make fine adjustments based on the metering reading. In addition, we can choose to capture the photo as a RAW file, thus capturing an information-rich DNG file that we can then post-produce later conveniently on our computer or directly on our Vivo X80 Pro. When the weather cooperates and we have fast moving clouds in the sky, I like to use one of the most creative functions of the Vivo X80 Pro, the time lapse mode. All I need is a small tripod to hold our smartphone in the same position for several minutes and thus avoid unintended movements that will ruin the result. Pro tip, if you do not have a tripod, try leaning your smartphone against a rock or a bag. Once we are set, I can easily access the time lapse mode by scrolling to the shooting modes. Well, I'm sure you will find a more comfortable position than mine. I can choose the exit interval myself, or I can select one of the convenient presets already available on the phone. Given our sky, I choose the fast clouds preset, and then I press the shutter. At this point, all that is left to do is enjoy the view until I think the time lapse is long enough to stop the sequence of shoots. I am almost sure that the result will blow your mind. The power and versatility of the Vivo X80 Pro allow me to work on images I have taken directly when I'm in the field, and that is something that I really love. Once I find a rock that is not too uncomfortable, I simply access to the gallery of images I have taken and I select the image I want to work on. Once done, from the bottom bar I select Edit, and at this point a new set of tools appears. First, I take advantage of the framing tool to check that the horizon is straight and to possibly crop the image. At this point, selecting Adjust, it gives me access to an incredible set of additional tools with which to post-produce my image. I can rely on automatic correction, but then I always think it is more fun to work manually. I normally start by adjusting slightly the exposure, and then I increase a bit the contrast. Reducing highlights allow me to recover details on the clouds, while opening the shadows make the image more readable. A little intervention on the color temperature and dark corners allow me to finalize the idea of cold and stormy atmosphere I have. When I'm satisfied, I simply press save and then the image is saved in my gallery, ready to be immediately shared with whoever I want. The Vivo X80 Pro is an incredible device and when it comes to photography it is a powerful travel companion. I can cover a wide range of focal length with an incredible optical quality. As we saw, using it on the field is super easy thanks to a series of presets and automation that makes our life easier, such as the incredible color matching that can be achieved with the Zeiss Natural Color or the HDR function. On the creative side, I can switch with a simple click from taking ordinary images to more complex effects like time lapses or fascinating panorama. 
Then the ability to use the Pro Mode allows me not only to adjust every single parameter as on my DSLR camera, but also to get raw files that I can process on my computer with my favorite editing programs. In short, the Vivo X80 Pro is not only a fantastic smartphone, but a truly complete camera that you can really have fun with at any time. So now is your turn to go out on the field to have fun with it and to practice what we have learned today.